on guys are back here again with yet another review and today we're taking a look at something that I, I can't believe that i actually have in my possession i can't believe this exists we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new bendy figs by the noble collection toys kung fu pandas po i can't believe this exists like is this i'm gonna get it right off the bat this is not gonna be a very long review and this is not gonna be a review about a very articulated action figure i anticipate that this articulation and movement is gonna be even more limited than alex the lion but do i care no not one bit because who is this again it's the Dragon Warrior, bro. It is Poe. If you guys have been following my channel for any point of time, you know that if I could pick any line of figures to be made, it'd probably be Kung Fu Panda. It's up there between, like, Kung Fu Panda or, like, Ben 10 or something like that. Or Saga is a big one for me, like the comic book saga. But I think if I could pick, like, super articulated line of figures, it'd probably be Kung Fu Panda. So to get this is awesome. Now, the box is pretty similar to Alex's, except it's a lot bigger because, you know, Poe is a big guy. Um... You can see a digital rendering of the of the figure. You get to see the Dragon Warrior himself. Then here is a barcode. I don't know if this is in Walmart or anything. I got mine on Amazon. One thing I'm going to say is that the figure looks a lot better in person than it does on the render, which is very awesome. There's one minor gripe that I have other than the limiter articulation right off the bat. But we'll get into that as soon as I open it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do just that. So getting Poe out of the package. <sighs> I, I've never been so happy but so disappointed at the same time. Like, I'm definitely way more happy. And this is going on my main display, guys. Because, it, it, like I keep saying, it's fucking Poe. Like, oh my god. But this is extremely limited. I really, he barely moves at all. Like, even for the bendy figure line, he barely moves at all. Which is kind of disappointing. But I, I don't really care. It's Poe. So I'm going to keep it on my shelf. But let's go ahead and take a look at this head sculpt. I love it. The only gripe that I have is I wish, like Alex, they put texture on his fur rather than being flat. Makes it look a little bit more cheap than I probably would have hoped. Um, and that goes for the whole body. The pants are pretty good. Oh, They do have like a little bit of a texture in there. And all the different paint variation for the pants look really, really nice, actually. I um, actually really like the pants a lot. You get his little tail there. His paws are painted very nicely, which is cool. His fingernails are painted. His little shoes are painted good as well. I like that a lot. And the face is painted very well too. It's just, I wish that there was a nice fur texture across the body. One detail that I really do like is the brown stripe that they put around so it's not just black and white because... You know, pandas do have like a little bit of a brown stripe, and that's accurate to the character. Like I said, the expression is great. I love the stupid grin on him. I think that there's like a blue shading in the ch like cheek cavities. I don't know if that's just like lighter white paint or if that's actual intentional shading. Either way, I like the way it looks. The ears are painted nice. The brown stripe goes all the way in the back. Obviously, you get to see the holes for the bendiness of the figure, but eh, whatever. That doesn't really do much. And then the, the belt, I guess, or the top of his belly looks great. You know, you got to do the, boom, you know, like that noise that he does when he when he hits his belly, like, boom, boom. come on, everybody knows what I'm talking about. But he looks fantastic and he stands really good. Like, stop. <laughs> yeah, no, but for real, he stands really good. Um, And even if he doesn't, the only accessory he does come with is a nice stand. I don't really like stands. I'm not going to use this, but it is nice for what it is. It says Kung Fu Panda on there. So if you want to put him on the stand, you can do so. And it also looks good on the stand. These are meant to just go on the shelf and sit there. They're not meant to do much. As far as you'll see right now, as the articulation goes as follows, and I say articulation really lightly, the head's not going to bend. He is hollow. So I thought that he would get a little bit of bendiness, but... It just reverts right back to what you had it. The arms are really, really hard. And they don't really do much. Like, that's in. That's out. So, unfortunately, they don't really do much. And forget about the legs. They are hollow. And there is no hole. So, I don't even know if there's a wire in there. But it's just disappointing. I, I feel like even with... I knew that... Alex was going to be a little bit more bendy than him because Alex is a thinner character than Poe. Poe is a thick boy. So I was like, 
how are they going to do that? But even this is not very good. It looks like what they did was just put a wire through his body right there. Like, he doesn't have one. Alex had one down his back. Um, Poe does not. So, eh. Am I upset about that? Yes, super disappointed. But I'm also not very upset because, like I keep saying, it's Poe. So, I'm I'm okay overall. As far as scaling is concerned, I mean, he's going to try to, he's going to pretty much fit where you want him to. Here he is next to a six inch series, uh, six inch Peely from the Jazz Rush Fortnite series. And then here he is next to Nekas Kong. So he's a little shorter than them, but I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, theoretically a panda shouldn't be like huge, huge. So I think this is good. There's no people in Kung Fu Panda neither. So it's not really shown how big he's supposed to be. Um, panda, a panda, panda standing up is probably around that big, maybe a little bit smaller, uh, bigger than this, but I think if you want to put him with your Marvel Legends or something, it could work. For me, he's just going on my main display, and if you guys know, follow me on TikTok and stuff, you'll see my display a lot more often than you would on the channel. Um, I just have a bunch of random stuff that I like on there because I'm in my dorm, so I can only do a certain number of stuff, but Poe is S tier as a character, so I really, really need him to be on that shelf. Oh, you know this hold. You know this hold? <laughs> oh, man. It's just... Is he the son of a goose? The son of a panda? Turns out, he's all of them. But no, I could quote these movies, like, to no end. And I know it's probably... I think it's more of a, the son of a panda or the son of a goose. Um, but he is the Dragon Master Poe. And I just can't believe that this exists... Um, my girlfriend, she, if you were to see her and ask her, if Anthony could have any figures, what would it be? She would go Kung Fu Panda because she knows how much I love this movie. I plan on getting a Poe tattoo on my leg in the near future because I love Poe. I just, I love these movies. In my opinion, they are the pinnacle of child animation. And while just going off the grid for a second, you can see right there that I do have a How to Train Your Dragon shield, um, or buckler, I believe it's called. Um, hanging on my wall that I found at the dollar store the other day. I do love How to Train Your Dragon, but for me, it's all about Kung Fu Panda. Each movie is beautifully animated, written, and told, and I just, I can never get enough of them. Um, if this line was to continue, The Furious Five would be amazing. Give me Shifu, give me Tai Lung, and Lord Shen, and Kai, uh, Ping, give me, give me Ping, bro. I would take literally anything. You could make, like, little fucking pigs and rabbits from the street for all I give a shit, and I would buy all of them. But at a price point of $20, in an objective standpoint, an objective standpoint, I'm giving it, like, a 5 out of 10, because they advertise this as a posable toilectable. I mentioned this in my Alex the Lion review, but I don't really know what a toy lectable is. You can see right there, it says toy lectable, posable. Not really, Bendy Figs. Come on, Noble Collection. But is it Noble Collection? It is Noble Collection. I'm pretty sure these are the same guys that do uh, the Loyal Subjects figures, but um, like the BSTA accent, I'm pretty sure it's the same umbrella, maybe. But um, guys, if you're going to advertise this as a bendable figure, then. For the love of God, make him bendable, you know? But from a subjective standpoint, 11 out of 10. <laughs> that's just, that's how I'm running it, guys. But anyway, I believe that's all I got for today. Enough of me rambling about how awesome Poe is. Um, but that's all I got. So if you see this at your local Walmart or in a box of radishes, um, you know, Pick it up. I'm pretty sure that you'll be happy with it if you just want a Poe figure. The fact that we're getting this in 2023. I mean, they did just announce a couple weeks ago that Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda 4 is happening, which I have my thoughts about. If you want to talk about Kung Fu Panda 4 in the comments, please do, because I do have my thoughts about that. Um, hopefully, we get another line of figures from that. That would be incredible. But anyway, that's all I got for today. So if you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot over there and I have a lot of fun. So I'm sure you all will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? You picking up Poe? The warrior of black and white? The dragon master himself? Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Aww.